Now that we've addressed our performer markers, it's time to take a look at how they are labeled. That would be the little numbers next to each one differentiating them. For that, we will need the Label tool. If we highlight a group of performers, we are now able to edit their labels. We can change the direction at which their label is placed. We can also edit the length or the distance from the performer marker at which the label is printed. We also have options over the font of the label. So if we don't like Courier, we could change it to something else, like Comic Sans. There's a few other options here. Follow form isn't very interesting on this straight line, however. Let's move over to this curve. If we select these performers, you'll notice that their labels already follow the curve. That means that they're placed perpendicular to the shape of that form. We have a placement option here called side one and side two, and that just refers to the actual side that those numbers are going to appear on. Depending on how everything looks on your sheet, you may find it necessary to alternate sides. This gives a little bit more visual space for every single performer. I can also change the length or switch the sides around as needed. Every one of these changes happens per set. So the next time I go back, if I go to a new set, I created the exact same set again here in set two, but you'll notice that these labels are back to where they originally were. This lets you change them per set as needed.